Okay, uh, the last plant that we're going to see today is uh, Ligustrum japonicum, number 96. This is Japanese privet. This is a real workhorse plant uh, on the east coast, particularly in the southeast. We grow a lot of Japanese privet. And um, so privet sort of has a, uh, you know, as the um, nom de plume, it's, uh, you do not mention uh, growing privet because Chinese privet is uh, extremely invasive in the southeast, covers a few million acres. Uh, but Japanese privet is much less invasive and, and frankly I don't see it coming up uh, really, really much at all. So not necessarily a problem. It is an Oleaceae, so it has opposite leaves. Uh, they are quite coriaceous, they're, they're uh, quite leathery. Sort of reminiscent of what you see in a camellia leaf, except for they have entire margins uh, in, uh, in um, uh, Ligustrum japonicum. And uh, they're also oppositely arranged. You also, uh, another good trait for Oleaceae is the fact that it has really uh, uh, plentiful and numerous and very uh, distinct uh, lenticels on the, uh, on the stem. The flowers are born in these um, uh, panicles uh, down at the tips of the branches. They are white, four-parted, uh, four-petaled flowers, and they're um, uh, somewhat showy, uh, but they are uh, uh, quite fragrant. Um, and they give way uh, to these fruit that start out green and uh, ripen to a blue-black sort of a glaucous uh, look. So that is uh, Ligustrum japonicum. So one plant that we didn't see today is uh, number 94, Pinus aristata. This is another one that's given way uh, due to, um, uh, to progress here on campus. Uh, Pinus aristata, your bristlecone pine, is one of the uh, oldest uh, organisms, or they live to be the oldest uh, organism uh, uh, in the world. And they're really easy to identify by those um, uh, uh, glands or the um, uh, resin dots that you'll see on uh, the needles. So take a look at those uh, in, your, uh, in your notes uh, and uh, let us know if you have any questions. That is the end of uh, list number nine.